Yo, what's up guys? It's Munch here. Today I've got a brand new Black Ops 4 video for you guys. Now the gameplay that you guys are going to be watching in the background is a 108 kills with one death. And um, I said, what better video to make this about than how on earth to improve your KD? Because I mean, in after I play this match, my KD shot up and I've got a lot of kills in this game. So it is very hard to obviously increase my KD as well as it is to decrease it. But um, I actually do have a 4.77 EKIA right now, maybe a bit higher, maybe like a 4.8. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. Um, but I have been popping off recently. So this is 108 kills and one death. Now, I'm going to jump straight into it. Tips on how to improve your KD. Munch, what do you do? Munch, how is your KD so high? How do I get my KD higher? Can you guys give me some tips on what to use? Is it just basically, is it the guns that I'm using? Is it play style streaks? It's a whole bunch of different things that I'm going to try and talk about as many of them, as well as giving you guys a live come of the gameplay, because a lot of people tend to learn from actually watching people. Um, and some people have said, you know, just by watching me, how I'm playing and um, changing up their classes based on what I'm using, it's actually helped them to improve. So obviously, I'm going to give you guys some tips as well as let you guys watch the gameplay. I'm not going to crop it or anything because this thing is an absolute masterpiece. I don't think I could have played it any better other than obviously, as you guys saw, then I did get shot, seeker droned, and um, did sadly concede the only death of the game. But the first thing I'm going to be talking about is playing in parties. Now, people think that's scummy. To be honest, I don't care. Um, I don't really have like a high standard for my gameplays. I just think whatever works, works. Um, obviously, sometimes I just want to chill, play with some friends. Just what I'm doing in this gameplay. I think I'm actually playing in a full six man. But the way how I'm playing in a six man isn't sitting there calling out 24-7. It's just chilling, relaxing, talking at the same time while just playing with some friends and stuff. But playing in parties definitely help. Because when you're playing solos, you're relying on teammates to do well. And if they're just random teammates and you naturally have stacked stats, what? Treyarch are going to do is they're going to put the bad teammates on your team so the enemy team end up just getting fed with streaks and then you get flooded with streaks which obviously ruin your KD so playing in parties is tip one tip two use lethal streaks in this gameplay I don't get all 108 kills on my gun because it is very hard um, I am actually running UAV counter UAV and snipers the snipers nest is a really good streak for this map a lot of open um, spaces the only bad thing obviously is like the right hand side of the map and the clock tower and this building that I'm in now um, running maybe like strike team would be really good as well um, obviously using those lethal streaks will get you more kills which obviously increase your KD um, another one is playing the featured game mode I'm running playing endurance capture mosh pit that's why the kill KC game go on for 15 minutes or 150 score um, playing the featured game modes, a lot of like the newer players and stuff will just be playing the featured game mode so you guys can easily stomp over them which is probably class is bullying, is what we're doing in this gameplay. I absolutely bully the enemy team. Um, but yeah, playing the featured game mode is definitely a shout. Whether you're playing in parties or whether you're playing solos, it's always good to be playing the featured game mode. Um, the next tip is knowing the spawns. You guys are going to see here that in this gameplay, I'm not going to lie, it may not be very entertaining because I'm basically running from one side of the spawn to the other side of the spawn. I know that the enemy team are 100% going to spawn there. You guys can see me here. Okay, they're spawning up there. All right, the chances are that they're going to be spawning on my left, which I give a peek. Nobody's there. So what I do is I run away from the spawn and then run back to it because they could actually spawn in that like basic time period. Um, you guys can see here, my entire team have basically flooded the entire side of the map. Um, and obviously I see that my tags that I recently got have all been killed tonight. So I also know that they are spawning again over here. A lot of people are going to see in this gameplay, why am I not picking up the tag tags? It's basically for that exact reason. The enemy team are more than likely going to pick up the tags to deny the kill. So you can basically use a tag as bait to know exactly when they're spawning up. As I just saw there, I did get the triple kill. Three tags dropped. I didn't collect any of them. At the moment that guy spawned up, he actually went and got them. So I knew that there was a guy over there. That's obviously knowing the spawns, good map awareness and all of that stuff. Baiting out the objective. We're clearly up on objective, so there's no need for me to hog it. The next one is um, playing safe for your streaks. Um, obviously... Uh, this one's a bit difficult because if you're a bit of a rusher, it is very, you know, playing safe in is different for different people. Um, but you guys are going to see in this gameplay that I don't challenge anything that I know I'm not 100% sure that I will win. As you guys can see there, I got the one kill, reloaded, make sure I was full health, gave it an extra peek, sort of sprayed so I can, like, get him to make him look at that midsection to have him thinking that I'm rushing that. Just flank behind him, get a few extra kills here, obviously using my tack. Um, tack 5 boost to make sure that I do survive any other um, surprise gunfights which I may run into which is obviously really good um, the next one is knowing when to challenge just is similar to sort of playing safe um, as you guys can see here I almost run into a gunfight where I could have died there but I also knew 
um, that there wouldn't be many of them spawning up there because they recently all just spawned there. Also here, I know that I can challenge from this left-hand side because uh, my teammate is applying pressure on that right-hand side, which gives me that slot that the enemy team have their complete backs to me. And the only time that they're going to turn around is if they're running away from that gunfight because they're already weak, so I can easily pick off those gunfights, secure some kills, um, which obviously lead me on to get more of my streaks. The last tip is weapon choice for maps. Um, some people will say, Munch, why do you only use a sword? Do you only use a sword? Why don't you use this on that map? Um, here's a tip. If you're playing on a small map, there's no point of bringing out a gun that specializes in long range because, you know, you're more than likely going to get gunned. Everybody else is going to be running like a sub, Spitfire or something like that. So, I mean, like on maps like um, Icebreaker, Militia, you may see me running AR like a Maddox, a SWAT or an ICR. On maps like Summit, Firing Range, um, even this map, you know, you can get away with running the sub because there's so many close core engagements. Um, sort of like here, so many sharp corners um, where subs obviously excel, it's better to run a sub than it would be to use an AR. Um, a lot of people say, oh, but I can run the Maddox on this. Yeah, you could. I could run the Maddox on pretty much any map. You can run any gun on any map, but it's about how they perform on those maps. You can perform a lot better on a smaller map using a sub than you could possibly do it using an AR. You can obviously play a lot faster. You can play around the um, increased mobility. If the enemy team are using like LMGs on a smaller map, um, you can obviously out strafe them you can play a lot faster than them if you're using a sword or a submachine gun in any way um you can obviously get a lot closer to them where smgs are a lot better and obviously makes it a lot easier to take them out all of that good stuff but yeah that's pretty much for pretty much it for tips on how to improve your kd um obviously i have a like a high kd like my actual actual kd is probably like around a four and my ek is like a 4.8 or it could be like my actual kd is like a three something a high three and my ek is obviously a high four but um that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy the tips hit that like button for me obviously i'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay for now if you guys are new to the channel hit the sub button turn on those notifications and i shall see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoy peace out well, your local specialist that's meant to give you ammo doesn't give you ammo. Nice game. GG, well played. Played yourself. Well played. GG, well played. Good luck. Have fun. Well, that works. <laughs> Reaps, you were shitting yourself inside. <laughs> <laughs> what is that for? Hey, nuclear. Let's go. Yeah. I still haven't got any ammo. So. Oh my good gracious! Cracked out of my damn mind. I think it saw me getting uh, some nasty kills. <laughs> They've got a deploy beacon over here. <laughs> and it should just spawn in here and dying on it every time. The KN's actually quite juicy. Really underrated gun. Really yeah. underrated. It like it, it's normal AR fast down there. Normal range. Yeah. Friendly tact deploy beacon offline. Yeah, I get what you mean. I think it's all, it's quite weak at range. Supplies, yeah, so. first come, first served. Right, okay, now I picked up another gun, it now gives me ammo to this other gun. But not my gun. At some point this year, I'm going to that to my We have still 100. I don't even know what street come on. Is this 
gonna bring my average lifetime up by like five minutes. <laughs> I'm like a lot just doing nothing. <laughs> Stop. Why would you say oh, that? Yeah, sick. Right, later this Well, I mean, to me, to be honest, it doesn't matter because I've got a flat jacket on my class. I had enough of dying to that crap. No counterplay to it, so. No, I mean, like, there's no counterplay if you don't have a flat jacket. There's no, like, time you can react to it. It's just straight death. At least trick mines, you can, like, slide through them. Trip mind you saw them bouncing Betty's head the bing bang. Bouncing Betty's is just a matter of crouching. Assault pack right here. Yeah. And if you're sliding, you I mean. Oh, I just fucking died to some dead tree. Rip. Nigga. I was like six or seven off her. They all last. Yeah. This map can be good, but if people keep leaving, it's already sort of fucking boring. Kill it, did you drop your nuke or die? Yeah, no, no. Nice, nice. Only 84 and 1. I'm back on the long streak again. I still don't understand. Like, on my main account, they got banned. And it's probably Prestige 4. Yeah. I have like three nukes, but on this, I'm like level 30. Stupid. I'm pretty sure that account's like cursed. It's like I choked so many times. The thing is, right now, is that I've not had nothing to eat today. I'm starving, but I've got so much energy. <laughs> Friendly tag deployed beacon offline. Crazy, man. Pretty stupid when you got advanced. Exactly. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, I'm starving like shit though. I'm gonna t I, might, I might force my mum to take some before she goes to gym. Take some advance. Yeah. Because normally, she, she, normally, she, normally, she, normally she like runs on the treadmill for like two hours. If I get her to take this, she'll be on it all fucking night. She'll run out. Nah, not really. What's up, Blue? What's his, what's his name? Blu ray. That's how you say your name, man. Welcome to the stream, what's up? How are you doing? Millie? Alright. Oh my god, they never die when you fucking shoot them with their specialists. Yeah, I'm not in latest spray. That's good, just out here dropping some nukes, oh, man. God. <laughs> I really. Did you say I really hope you're positive? Have you been in this game, right? <laughs> Have you not? With their first annihilator shot while you're flying around the corner. <laughs> Damn, they're afraid they're good players. <laughs> what was that? You might expect to get his tempers like Mid-Gunplay, wasn't it? Am I next? What's now on PS4, man? PlayStation 4. Ah, Seeker! Fuck! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they spawn flipped, have they? I'm, not, I'm never using a silencer. Yeah, you're not killing me off my streak even when I got that. Sorg silence. KN silence of the world. Oh, yeah, that's right. Get marking machine, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look, you don't even have a stand. Close, make it official. That guy's pretty sure that guy's just there emoting. Emo I'd have moved this if I didn't die to a seeker. There's always a seeker, man. Fuck, you know, I might be losers. Imagine getting that 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 as soon as he strikes, he turns around. I know that they're spawning back here. Oh fuck, have you debated? Oh, <laughs> the whole team was there. <laughs> Oh, no, it's horrible, isn't it? Definitely could have done a lot better. Mission objectives, green across the board. Speaking of, 
12 people and they shot him in the day. Seraph requesting strike team support. How many getting 24 views? I just started streaming on Twitch recently, man. Maybe for about two weeks I've been streaming on Twitch. Only, what, four, five, eight followers and stuff? Oh. I'm pretty sure Crispy just... Bumps. Hey, what's your character? Two. 